Hello everybody, and welcome back for one final Blackjack Reacts to Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is a very momentous thing. I remember first hearing about Smash Ultimate when I was at work, and people were saying, because it was on my, it was lighting up my Tumblr feed, and people were saying, oh my god, you guys, it's a Smash 4 port. How amazing! And it's got the Inklings. And it's like, okay. And then, so, so I wasn't very excited that I went home and I actually watched the stream. And at no point did they ever say it was a port. So that's when I got really excited. And I know, I'm sorry for my hushed voice. I was originally going to record this outside, just like I did with the November 1st announcement that rounded up the base game but unfortunately um i couldn't plug my computer cord in outside and uh there, there's a plug out there for it and i it just wouldn't go in so <laughs> alas the symbolism is a little lost although if i wanted to go full symbolism i'd go break into my old, old house <laughs> As you can see, I, I, there are some things that outweigh symbolism. <laughs> but um, I have here some characters. Right below me I have Impa. We still Simpa for Impa, and I am going to keep saying that. Deal with it. Below her, a stock from Radiant Historia. Um, excellent game. I just want to get that a little more out there. Chun-Li from Street Fighter. Uh, I think she would be really cool. <laughs> and of course, Chrono from Chrono Trigger. And uh, I think he speaks for himself. But of course, over to the the other side here. My number one want. My friend and yours, Tara Branford. And I know that Sephiroth kind of basically backstabbed her chances. But, you know... Hope springs eternal, right? <laughs> um, I know there's all the the quote unquote leaks, the um, all the the scuttlebutt going around about who this could possibly be. Uh, while Luigi is back in people's hearts again, as if he could ever leave. <laughs> Um, people are talking about Sora and Crash again, somewhat to my irritation, simply because I have nothing against Sora. I have nothing against Crash. I have things about against the companies that hold those rights. And, you know, it'll be a little sting if, you know, the money I already put down for the Fighters Pass goes to some of these things. But apparently Sora is almost entirely owned by Square. It's just that little bit that isn't, you know? And I think we all understand why Crash would be a problem right now. But, you know, the, the Crash trailer writes itself, though. He would have the funniest trailer. It'd be like a callback to those old uh, commercials where he was the guy in a Crash mascot costume was standing outside the Nintendo headquarters with a megaphone. Just imagine it. He goes, he's going on a rant, and then he, and then he goes like, "And you're so cowardly! You'd never even put me in Smash!" And then like a guy in a Mario mascot costume comes out and like, "Come get some!" And like, oh, oh, I, I didn't think that would actually work. And then everything goes into video game. It's, that would be like the best trailer. <laughs> I mean, we would know who it was immediately from the get-go, but, you know. <laughs> oh, golly. <coughs> I think there's one thing they could give us, though, that would actually be more hype than any character. And that's like, if they give us an upgraded me maker that's like the kind they have in Metopia. Uh, I just have to make sure. Okay, good. I have the base video muted so I don't get a repeat 
of the Steve reaction debacle where I had everything echoed and didn't realize it. Remember how I kept hearing ticking? Yeah. <laughs> it's because I was hearing everything twice. We have one minute to go. In five minutes or so, we're going to know who it is. And then we're going to learn all about them and it's going to be awesome. And I am, I am here for it. And I hope you are too. <laughs> kind of wish timing just clicked on right there and it just started right as I finished saying that. Um, other things that would be really hype, uh, like a conclusion to story mode where, I don't know. I, oh. I'm actually shaking real hard. <laughs> Hype is a powerful thing, and I really think that they mastered the art of hype with these trailers and everything. So see, they do consider Piranha Plant to be base game. Hello, Mr. Sakurai. We all love you so much. Now go take a vacation. Oh no. Oh no, the captions are on. I don't. <laughs> okay. Usually I like captions, but not when it's combined with subtitles. Okay, yes, I was wondering if they were going to do that first, simply so they don't, you know, we don't feel like a downturn in hype. <laughs> okay, yes. Give us some really good ones. What I would do is I would make a, like a type, like a almost character-like trailer for each of them. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, it's just a wig, huh? <laughs> okay, they're giving us some Splatoon stuff right out the gate. Oh, Red Bowser, huh? Who's following Red Bowser? Oh my god! Oh my god! But they're not gonna have his music! But they're not gonna have his music! Oh, they didn't acknowledge the Isabel meme! Only three! I am curious! Only three and he's still not a deluxe costume. Interesting. Oh, I was hoping they'd throw Isabella there. They've acknowledged so many other memes. まさかのドームスレイヤー。ファンからはドーム外などと言われますが、現実についてはここでご紹介することができませんが、FPSの始祖ですね。どんなコンピューター上でもどこ、どこ、どこ、どこ、どこ、どこ、どこ、どこ、
Everyone. Everyone is here. And someone is showing up late. Lights will guide you on the way to the ultimate fight. Oh, and they're all toys again. incredibly well-modeled toys, my goodness. I feel like I could just pick them all up and play with them. A flame in the distance. I don't know. Grabbing the fire. Oh my god, is that... Holy... Holy shlamoly, it's the light of Kingdom Hearts! Didn't you, boy? <laughs> Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. Morning is a little later on Regardless of warnings The future doesn't scare me at all No things like before I know I said I would be apprehensive about him But oh my god <laughs> it's actually really beautiful. シリーズ <laughs> <laughs> I was even gonna say when he was approaching the fire, is this the light of Kingdom Hearts? <笑>いや、あの、この右の人ではなくて、左の人、あの、右の人マリオっていう。黄色い人を携えて、スマブラの世界に立っている。最後に最後の人が、いかがでしょうか。え、最も望まれる。He was スマブラ東方圏というアンケートを行ったのですが、新規参戦希望キャラクターの中でトップだったのがソラです。当時スマブラ東方圏の開催にあたり、生前の岩田社長と打ち合わせた結果、集計結果は。Oh <笑> <laughs> so, Bayo actually was not the ballot winner after all, and we find that out six years later. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
今回のプレゼンでは空の声は英語になっていますが日本語と英語が実装されます。I kind of, I mean, his English voice was cast before anyone in the Japanese cast, so. Oh, you know what's funny? Oh, no, wait, it's just turned to the side. I was going to say the Mickey keychain isn't there, but I guess it is. It's just facing away. Or is it? <laughs> oh my god, he's so floaty. I love it. Yes, yes, thank you, Sakurai. Mm, yeah, he's extremely elite. Like... <laughs> yes, but his characteristics. <laughs> Gonna get a Riku variation? I cannot tell if the Mickey chain is there or not. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is I honestly I honestly can't be mad. Especially I mean a great deal of that is <coughs> you know if I got the square is the majority rights holder for him. But I never thought I would see the day. <laughs> I I thought that even if everyone gave the rights and everything, I still thought Sakurai would say no because he's so reliant on his teammates and they can't be in here. <laughs> oh my god, you know what? You know what? We're gonna get the poster. The completed Everyone is Here poster is finally going to come out, isn't it? <sighs> oh! <laughs> the zebra stripes! Okay, there I can see the Mickey chains there. あ、ファイターズピリッツも募集になります。ワン、ツー、スリーディ、スリー、スレスリバー。DLCの中ではもっともこったコスチュームであったりします。では、いや、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
ちょっと忙しいですが空中途中止めの急降下で地上コンボにつなげる手もあります、えー、実はコッポと単発止めで相手の吹っ飛ばしが変わっていることがあります<笑>これは横強攻撃コンボ一発目に注目してください相手が吹っ飛ばないです、ね、I, I just... これは you know what this means And I realized this last night. <clears throat> I have been waiting so very long for this. I can finally do another Blackjack's Parrot's Best the Smash roster video. Uh, I have been waiting so long to do that. And unfortunately, we won't get to see. These five fine characters I have around the edges, but <clears throat> you know, we have Impa's finest people, so. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Imagine all the people who had to keep this quiet. <laughs> Although, <clears throat> I've got to say, actually, I, I, no, I am in the early planning stages of a project that I cannot talk about. I'm just saying, I, I am zippy the lippy. It is fine. <laughs> I'm actually really good at keeping secrets, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just musing about everything that comes to mind right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who would have thought 20 minutes ago, you know? I just... <clears throat> Interesting. Ha! <laughs> Bye, Sora. <laughs> Drop. ブリザガは粒子の中の一つしか姉妹の腕実質で番はないと思います。They <笑> must have had to time this out very closely if they realized they had to cram three characters in there to get all of them in at once or to get all of them in in the in the trailer like they were talking about. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> He's styling on ya. Sora is styling on ya. <clears throat> Interesting. That's going to take some getting used to, but it seems like it's going to be really good. Ah, Ryu. <clears throat> I'll forever be salty that your trailer was spoiled so early. You, you go through and there's like no genuine reactions. Or, I guess, I shouldn't say genuine reactions. There's no unspoiled reactions. Everyone knows who the character is going to be before they even start. <clears throat> Liquor suck, dude. <laughs> you know, I have to say, it's kind of good that I didn't record my cloud reaction because it was very underwhelming. It was just kind of like, oh, huh, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> Hi, Bayo. After her, we're getting into this game. Now, my Bayo reaction I probably should have <laughs> recorded, but it was a few months before I started doing reaction videos. <clears throat> Breath of the Wild Link, I guess that counts as a reveal. Hi, Inkling. Although, technically, wasn't she revealed first before Breath of the Wild Link? <sighs> Oh man, Simon is the one character that I was talking about in advance that got in. <laughs> oh, dodging. I'm going through all the memories. You might say it's a melody of memory. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, plant. Plant, we felt so much like we were being punked, but it turned out to be amazing. Zoom, zoom. Oh, that's, that's funny, they put Banjo Kazooie first above Hero, even though the Hero trailer aired first. 
Wait, where was Hero? They went straight from Joker to Banjo to Terry? They might have filmed these out of order then. Oh, there's Hero. <clears throat> well, I guess he also never said they were actually in order. They've just been mostly in order. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, tripping! <laughs> Are they saving Sephiroth for last? That would be honestly hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they always move <clears throat> the Mii Fighters to the end of the row? I, I don't understand that. Why not show them in the order they were revealed? <laughs> Eat shit, me brawler. <laughs> Eat shit, me sword fighter. Yep, saving Sefi for last. Good job, Mr. Sakurai. Us! You know people are doing reaction videos to this. Surprises! Oh, so it's basically gonna be like Zelda's, huh? I wonder why they write the game names in all capitals. Yes, yes, show us. Oh. Oh my goodness, this is surreal. I would have thought it would be Destiny Islands. Oh, Alright, makes sense. You know what they totally could have done? Um, well, I guess they only... They didn't say they were done with showing us the with the spirits from the game. Uh, they were just talking about the Sora spirits, right? They were saying they could totally have the Final Fantasy spirits. Leon. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, and they forgo the uh, Disney emblems. <laughs> that is lovely. Various characters. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, good to see her getting some play. We get Terra in Smash, and it's not the... Ah, Ventus has an empty board. <laughs> we finally get Terra in Smash, and it's the wrong one. <laughs> yes, we've been seeing him in action, but... Yeah. So today we're going to have them stand still. <笑>これだと、え、空の空中戦闘道具みたいなものはあんまり聞きないです。Okay. <笑> <Because I gotta have a challenge>. <笑>
I, I wondered if it was going to be those two. <laughs> As he proceeds to just slam them with the sword for a while. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder how many times they do this, you know? <laughs> they both will elim eliminate Cloud. That's, uh... <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that didn't take long at all. I was expecting a longer sequence at Hollow Bastion slash Radiant Garden slash whatever you're calling it. God, you're getting your butt caved in. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go, yep. <laughs> the smash logo on the door! <laughs> Oh my. Oh! It just hit Cloud! It just hit Cloud! <laughs> yep! There we go. <laughs> Sora's just standing there taunting. Oh, this is close. Destroyed by their own animosity for each other. <laughs> that is a really nice detail. That, that kind of sizzle noise. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll do it for fun on my own, but it's just not the same. Well, yeah. ジャンクに置けるそれぞれのワールド曲の使用はできなかったのですが、それ以外の主要曲から検討しました。実装されるのは全9曲です。ステージがフォローバス気温であることを前提に対戦シーンにも通用する。No キングダムハーツ、メロディーオブメモリーという作品があります。これをプレイしていると、作品にあるディアリービラブド、スイングバージョンが追加されます。ディアリービラブドはタイトルで流れるキングダムハーツを代表する曲。対戦には合わない曲
that's nice. This is top or bottom. It's Alex. <laughs> I know, right? Some active music. <laughs> oh, I know some people who are screaming right now. あの、キングダムハーツ<笑><笑> ドリーブドロップディスタンスは3DSで出ていた作品です。そしてキングダムハーツ3、いわゆるダークシーカー編の完結を迎えます。I wonder what the graphics are going to look like though. I mean anything on the Switch like Switch games look good, but you know they're not up to the rest of the industry. Like I'm not saying they have bad graphics, just a little behind the time. Let's let's do it, Sakurai. Rip off the bandage. Have <laughs> have information on where we can order that because I need that in my life. I need that on my wall. <笑>仕事を重ねていれば、いつかは達成できるということでしょう。私のツイッターで今日の一枚と称してスクリーンショットを上げていますが、冷静に見ると、たった一本のゲームソフトから取られているとは思えないふり幅ですよね。これだけい
Can't the amiibos look this good? Mario can touch fire. He's special. <laughs> There's your freaking anime sword wielder. I feel like that's a really bad tagline, though. I mean, I know why, but it just feels like, I don't know, Sora awakens his heart, something like that. Sora's the light in the darkness. I had always thought that he couldn't be done because of his reliance on his, you know, licensed friends. I guess it's the end of the side. <laughs> Sora, who's like 12, is way taller than Mario. <sighs> it does credit Disney, though. Oh my god. Well, I mean, obviously they'd be credited, but... <sighs> it's that time. Time to break down the set. You know, I really feel like Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate can really be used as an example of how, how to build the perfect hype. Like, 
I, I feel like psychologists and uh, advertisers and everyone could look at the reactions to these these two games in particular. And I know people like to split Smash 4 into two games, but no. Nah. They're just different versions of the same game. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it is a product, but it's a product that has such deep meaning to a lot of people, whether it be through nostalgia or... just you know something they enjoy being brought together with something else they enjoy and it really does create something amazing and I mean I know people criticize uh, people like me who get excited over these kinds of things as being like, you know, a consume product, and they always spell consume with two O's. And it's like, you know, heaven forbid we enjoy things, you know? <laughs> People have figured out, you know, and um, this is a very prime example, that the best way to have things like customer loyalty is to release a consistently good product. And I feel like a lot of companies can learn from that, too. You know, we all need to demand better from the companies we buy from, which is what I was talking about earlier. Um, and uh, I feel like putting out a quality product is just a fantastic thing, you know? <laughs> you know... A lot of like tie-ins and stuff suck because people expect it to coast on name recognition alone. And that's, you know, certainly a problem. And uh, when you remember to put passion into it, when you remember why people like these things in the first place, which is something Sakurai absolutely excels in, um, then then I feel like um, that's just really good, you know? <laughs> Simple and clear is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. Hold me. Whatever lies beyond this morning is a little, little on. Regardless of warnings, the future doesn't scare me at all. Nothing's like before. <laughs> I feel like that kind of fits right now, too, you know? Is this the last Smash game? Probably not. Is it the last one of Sakurai? Almost certainly. But I feel like whoever makes another Smash game will have had the absolute best to learn from. And even if they can never have a roster as massive as this again, it was never... Like, people love the big rosters. People love the passion and recognition put into it but that's not the biggest reason I, I mean I was gonna say that it's not the real reason but it is a real reason it's not the biggest reason people are here people are here because it's fun and smash is an incredibly fun game and, you know, I was looking at some posts on Reddit last night and uh, people were talking about 
they want to see like a big smash franchise like even if there's not another fighting game to have this sort of crossover love because we really are in the age of crossovers i mean we've got you know we got this we got the lego movie basically every lego property since um uh we've got you know on like disney we have house of mouse and all that although i guess that's not really a thing anymore but it was for a while um we got that nickelodeon all-stars that came out um a few hours ago um and if my twitch uh recommendations are any indication max dude has been playing it all night <laughs> um i um We know what happens when you just turn a camera on Blackjack and Blackjack starts talking about something they like. We get a video that is extraordinarily long. <laughs> I mean, that that's, that's what happened with the Cyrus video, even though I had a script for that that I'd worked on for months. It was still considerably longer than I thought it would be. Um, but anyway, though, I saw people talking about um, they want to see more done with the Smash property i know a while ago arlo had mentioned like a smash kart like mario kart is already a massive crossover so why not just go the extra mile with it which is easy to do you got the go-karts right there you can easily drive an extra mile um or at least put captain falcon in in um in mario kart come on i mean the, the man drives race cars for a living that's what he does that is his lifeblood <laughs> Anyone remember that post before E3 is a Twitter comment about um, the only way Nintendo could fuck up E3 is if they executed Captain Falcon live on stage? Can we see his gormless ass getting tossed into lava? <laughs> and everyone said it was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> it's hard to let it go <laughs> but yeah so I'm just talking about like the possibility of a project cross zone sort of game which I think would be really fun and I think that would be a really great way to finally give us the story mode that people wanted ever since Brawl gave us some space emissary and uh you know because World of Light was fun but it wasn't a story mode not really I mean you got characters that were just plain left out to and I, I feel like having all the DLC people together would be just wonderful <laughs> even if they were DLC in the you know it wouldn't be nearly as much it's funny like it's far from a perfect game like there's so much they could do with Smash, not just Ultimate, but as a property. But I also feel like as far as acknowledgement, as far as history, um, as far as the absolute love and passion not just from Sakurai and his crew but also for the people who made the original games and the original characters and and all of that like it just can't be beat and I think people take that for granted a lot of the time like with the the Shantae me costume people were saying oh, I was so disrespectful and blah 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 and meanwhile the the people who actually make the Shantae games were absolutely over the moon with it and it's just like you're really getting offended on someone else's behalf without bothering to check how they feel about it well that's peak internet <laughs> but you know I just feel like this game has opened up so many opportunities for so many 
like I see people who are talking about, oh, I had never heard of Persona before they added Joker, and now I absolutely now I can't wait for SMT five. And uh, people are like, man, this Ridley guy really lives up to the hype. I can see why people wanted him for so long. And um, talking about like, oh, this obscure game that I thought no one remembered but me is recognized in the spirits. <laughs> and, you know, we, we're getting like a lot of the creators recognized in ways they weren't before. I feel like people like Grant Kirkhope kind of dropped off the radar for a while. And since... I mean, he continued to work, but people weren't really thinking about him. And I feel like because of games like this, people were reinvigorated. Um, <laughs> of course, then you have um, things like, uh, you know, just funny things like the whole uh, Smash Bros. is for good boys and girls. Which, yes, I know is not actually what he said, but it caused people to look up my and get uh, acquainted with her. <laughs> um, me costumes really brought a lot to the field, which is um, why I was thinking that the only thing that could be more hype than a new character would be um, a reinvigorated um, me maker like the kind you have in Metopia, where you can make basically anything. I also think that if they do make another game, they should add another type of me fighter. Um, people have been calling for like a me wizard for a long time, and I think it would be time for that. Um, I have to say, um, You know, just speaking as a fan, honestly, I am a little disappointed that only one character I asked for got in. But, you know, I don't really have an issue with the characters who did get in. So it's just, you know, personal personal preference. Especially, I mean, I would have wanted Hyrule Warriors 1 Impa. And after Age of Calamity, I figured that would be the one that would get in. And, I mean, I'd be down for her, but I wouldn't. It's just not the same. Yeah, she looks like Paya. <laughs> I feel like if they do another one, um, Waluigi's an absolute shoo-in. Like, I had been saying for a while, uh, Waluigi fans need to accept he's not getting an ultimate. Waluigi haters need to admit that He's basically a shoo-in for the next game. <laughs> but I guess, you know, time will tell. Whatever lies beyond this morning is a little later on. <laughs> I'm really kind of awestruck. I mean, this is an incredibly long game. Not just, you know, playing it and all that. I mean, if you really buckled down, you could beat World of Light in a few hours. I mean, it would be an intense few hours. But, you know, if you start around noon, you could definitely have it done by midnight. <laughs> um, most people won't. But, uh, well, actually, here, let me, let me, uh, let me look it up. Uh, speed run. Oh, my. Oh, my. Any percent easy in two hours, 
44 minutes, 21 seconds, and it says obsolete. <laughs> splits is a category, and splits is... Goodness golly, I see as low as 3 minutes here, but I... Oh, powered by splits IO, and I, I, I don't know if th what that means. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Super Smash Brothers series 2018. I, uh, I just. Okay, new game plus any percent. Um, it says real time is six hours, 23 minutes, 30 seconds, and in game time is five hours, 48 minutes flat. Regular any percent is held by the same guy named Riparo, an American, it says. They have a little flag next to the name. Six hours, 54 minutes, 25 seconds real time. Six hours, 15 minutes, 55 seconds uh, in game time two months ago. <laughs> oh, wow. The record for Century Smash was set seven months ago by Captain JJ of the United Kingdom, one minute, six seconds using Simon. <laughs> God. All challenges spirit board. Eight minutes and seventeen seconds by Arapthos of Australia. Goodness. Ah. Uh. Classic mode, I assume that means for all characters. It says 27 minutes and 12 seconds, also by Arapthos. Set four months ago, so now you gotta do it again, Bucky. <laughs> uh, I am really gonna miss this game. And I mean, I know it's there. But the continuous building of hype is something you just can't get anywhere else. I just... I am in awe of how they do it, and I really hope that whoever makes the next game, because there almost certainly will be a next game, understands the role that they're going to fill, the expectations that they have on them, and I hope that we, um, the, fa the fan base, the players, I really hope that we recognize that there will never be another game quite like Smash Ultimate. And in a way, there never really can be. <laughs> I'm actually tearing up. It's a silly crossover fighting game. And it is a fighting game, no mistake. <laughs> I know they call it a party game, a competitive action game. I mean, it's, it's all those things and more, you know? <laughs> Who would have guessed? You know? I mean, obviously, we get attached to games with, you know, deep plots and stories. But nothing really feels quite like Smash Bros. And... Nothing really can. So, thank you, Mr. Sakurai. Thank you, Mr. Iwata. People are saying Iwata should have been a character, but I feel like he was already added to the game, you know? The me trailer 
he's like the first person you see in the me trailer and he used his me that I'm pretty sure you could download right come a long way from just sitting on my couch thinking that I was going to see a port to the realization that they never said this was a port. <laughs> Went through, I made a few videos prior to release about it, about characters I wanted to see. Simon got in. Can we at least get Kevin's jacket? I feel like Captain N's jacket would be a nice me gunner costume. <laughs> but you know, there may be a next time. <laughs> Saw people wondering if it was okay to get emotional over this game. It's like, do you really need external validation for that? Uh, it's so unusual, you know. Here's a game that is specifically targeting your emotions in a way that really no other game can. When this game was first released in my well not even released but when it was first announced in that original reaction video you can hear my old budgies Lawrence and Lugia they were sitting right next to me a year to the day later Lawrence died Lugia had died a few months previous. And I have Athena. I have Sonic. Who I made that cute video with, you know. When they did the Sonic movie, I did the video of I used Smash Bros. Ultimate to play the Green Hill Zone theme over swirling cam of my budgie Sonic <laughs> you know the whole you know using the game as a media player music player I wonder if they're gonna give us that thing that they had in Brawl where you could watch the characters tr reveal trailers I think that would be a really fun commemoration and at some point I'm probably going to watch all of the trailers again I'm gonna talk about you know what we see uh, a lot of the in-depth uh, stuff that we would later come to know and love in a <laughs> goodness the memes that came out of it Ridley hits the big time <laughs> uh, yeah smashes for good boys and girls <laughs> uh, Steve steak <laughs> kind of want to make a Dragon Ball Z abridged reference about the tuna. If you've seen it, you know exactly the part I'm talking about. But I can't think exactly of how to word it. <laughs> and you know, next month... Next month we get bits and I get to get emotional about video games all over again. Even though it runs completely contrary to the character that I am most emotional about.
but you know I already made an hour video about him, so go watch that. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like this is just, this is lightning in a bottle that we can never really catch again. I mean, there will be almost certainly be more Smash games. There will almost certainly be, you know, continued hype. And we'll do this process all over again. But it'll never really be like it was with Ultimate. again you know thank you Sakurai thank you Sora Limited and thank you Mr. Iwata 